The World of Hina Dolls. In Japan, March 3rd is the day of the doll festival. During this time, beautifully costumed male and female dolls called Hina Ningyo or Hina dolls are displayed to celebrate the health and growth of young girls. Have people in Japan always displayed Hina dolls? Let's take a look at the history of these figures. The History of Hina Dolls The origins of the doll festival can be traced to purification rituals held at the beginning of the third month since ancient times. People would cut paper and similar materials into human shaped forms, then blow or rub on them to transfer bad energy to the doll, which they would then cast away in a river or the sea. These purification rituals became linked with the elegant dolls that young girls in wealthy households played with. Eventually, these evolved into the elaborate Hina dolls that people display in their homes. The custom of displaying dolls on the third day of the third month actually began about 400 years ago, at the beginning of the Edo period. The Many Kinds of Hina Dolls Many different types and styles of Hina dolls were made during the Edo period. Let's take a look at some popular styles. Tachibina, Standing Dolls Standing dolls preserve the shape of the older paper dolls used in purification rituals, but are much more ornately decorated. This is the style of the earliest Hina dolls. These dolls are flat and cannot stand on their own, so they have to be displayed leaning against a wall or other support. Kan e bina. This early style of Hina doll became popular in the early 1700s. Unlike the earlier standing dolls, seated dolls like this became increasingly popular over time. Only about 10 centimeters tall, these dolls are quite small. Genrokubina The clothing of the Genrokubina resembles the multi-layered court costume worn by princesses and court ladies in the Heian period. The size is slightly larger, about 20 centimeters tall. Kyohobina These Hina dolls are a full 50 centimeters tall. Dolls of a large size like this were also made. Jiro Zaimon Bina These Hina dolls are particularly charming, with round faces, small eyes, and tiny mouths. Kokin Bina These look much more like the Hina dolls displayed today. Their dress resembles costumes worn by men and women of the court. But actually, the doll's dress is much more ornate and gorgeous than traditional court costumes would have been in real life. Yusokubina The clothing of these small dolls 
perfectly matches the costumes worn by courtiers. Dolls like this were specially made to order. Hina dolls from the Kansai region. Have you ever seen Hina dolls displayed on an altar like this? This style of displaying dolls atop tiered altars began in Edo. In fact, this is quite different from the way dolls were traditionally displayed in Kyoto, Osaka, and the greater Kansai region. What do you notice that's different? The altar for displaying Hina dolls in Kansai has fewer tiers, but it includes a lavish palace. There are also furnishings for the kitchen, including a cooking hearth for preparing meals. There are all kinds of differences among Hina dolls depending on when and where they were made. In Japan today, Hina dolls are regularly displayed in homes and museums around March and April. When you come to Japan, keep an eye out for these unique seasonal displays. Kyoto National Museum